Yo, what's up? This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. Here's a quick video for those of you using the Machine Micro Mark III. I just want to show how you can use it to trigger chords inside of Ableton Live. I know a lot of people are using the Micro as a companion, you know, for their favorite DAW. And outside of using it for what machine is known for internally, you know, the sounds, the samples and triggering NKS and all that different type of stuff. You can also use features like the chord functions to trigger your favorite sounds or plugins. So I just want to show how to set that up. And right now I just have a basic, well, not basic, but I just have a, a pad loaded from Wavetable. And I want to use the chord features from the micro to trigger that. So it's really actually simple to set up. Just want to go here to your output section for MIDI. Want to set that to host so it can send MIDI into the host. Then inside of Ableton Live, you come here and choose the track that machine is loaded on. Then you want to tell it to receive from the machine plugin. And if we go back here and hit a pad, we can see that it's actually receiving MIDI. So now I can put it in chord mode and I can go change and choose whatever chords I want. If you want major, I usually like to use minor. And of course, you can change your key, change your scales, and all different stuff. But now we can actually record these chords into Ableton Live using Machine as a chord generator. So let's just do a really basic clip. As you can see, the chords are actually recorded into Ableton Live as actual chords. This is actual the MIDI data of your chords, the, all the notes, whatever notes that are being triggered for your chords. You can go in and edit that, you know, adjust it, do whatever you want to do, copy it to other tracks, use it with other plugins, whatever. It's a really, really simple way to trigger chords using the Machine Micro Mark III inside of Ableton Live. The setup is super quick, but it allows you to get creative with the functions that are inside of Machine, but use that with your favorite plugins or whatever sounds you have loaded inside of Ableton Live. Of course, if you got questions, let me know. This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. Peace.